Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with another Ace Impressions, this time having a look at an old classic, specifically Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. This game actually got released on GUG.com along with several other Star Trek games around the same time. Uh, you, re you might remember my video on Star Trek Bridge Commander, this came out around the time that came out. So, let's go ahead and jump into a new game. This, by the way, is a first-person shooter, but to show you what it's like, let's go ahead and get into it and get into the first mission a little bit. On I'll go ahead and skip the beginning here, but we are on a Borg ship trying to rescue our fellow team here. Now, now, of course, because the Borg themselves only start fighting with you once you aggro them, you can usually get around some of the stuff. There we go. So we'll just get into here. Can you get a weapon turn? Okay. So simple enough. <clears throat> That caused them to shut down, which is nice. But with the Borg, you do have to be careful because if you start firing on them, they can actually start putting up shields and whatnot, making themselves impervious to your weapons. However, we will be picking up a weapon that kind of fixes that problem here. Okay, so that's not it. This is it. I mean, this is pretty... Okay, we got ourselves a weapon that can actually deal with these guys efficiently. And that's that. <clears throat> now let's activate the control panel. There we go. Alright, so we'll oop. Thanks, Miro. I'll get Odell back to the ship. Alright. So is this game worth the ten dollar asking price that it has on GOG.com? In my opinion, yes, actually. It's considered a classic for good reason. So we made it down here. It looks like that's been fixed. Alright, so those Borg are deleted, which is nice. And we can carry on. Let's go ahead and recharge our ammo and health. Simple enough. Okay, that didn't work as planned there earlier, so, but we should be good. And simple enough. There we go. They're down. So yeah, this game, as you can probably tell, is a little bit more on the... There we go. It's, it's a fun game in my opinion, but it's... But you get this because you're a Star Trek fan, really, is the reason to get this. It's a good reason to get this, but still something to keep in mind, I guess. So, yeah. 
let's go ahead, pick go here. Good shot. Alright, let's let him beam out. See, is there anything here? No, there is a weapon terminal. So we will recharge, continue on our merry little way. This is the way. That fixed that. All right, we know there's some board here. And that's dealt with. Now the Borg are supposed to be pretty menacing, fair enough. However, this spoiler is uh, on the holodeck, so it's might explain why it's not as intense as perhaps it should be. But I digress. All right, let's go ahead and head into here. We should be able to climb up to this and get onto the platform that way. There we go. And that's dealt with. And new area. Well, technically that would be the console itself, but let's just... This does give us a cutscene, so... And it blows up and kills everyone. But except it doesn't because we're on the holodeck. Alright, well I think we can skip that, so... And can we skip all this, uh, so I can actually get to... Alright, there we go. Now, we can go ahead and exit out. But is the game worth the asking price, in my opinion? Yes. But, uh, yeah, and, but it does require you to, of course, pretty much be a Star Trek Welcome fan. Voyager, but if you're interested in an FPS set in the Star Trek universe, this is an old classic and worth having a look at. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.